for the first time in a couple weeks. Um, and I have a new background. It's much darker. Um, so what we're going to be taking a look at today is Generation Springer. Now, here we have Springer in his armored car mode. And it is quite nice looking. It looks like an armored car, I guess. Uh, it's not based on a real vehicle from what I can tell. Oh, but it still looks nice. A little bit gappy in some spots. Uh, and then there's stuff like that. And right up front, it kind of loses the car appearance if you look directly at it. From the side, it looks pretty darn nice as a car. Um, uh, you can store his weapons in this mode. Uh, his sword stores right underneath the vehicle, as you can see. And his gun, which is right here, it looks very nice. Uh, you can fire the missiles. They're push fire, so... They fire one each time individually with each push, which I think is quite a nice feature. And I just bumped the camera. Fix it. So what you can do with this is there is a port here and here. You can place it in either one. Up here, I don't think it looks very good, but you can place it back here. Drop it all the way in. And with the mechanical detailing underneath it, it looks kind of like a turret. And I think that looks pretty darn nice. Now, uh, as the fact that he is Springer, he is a triple changer. So let this, let's get this guy into his other vehicle mode. Okay, so to get him into his other vehicle mode, uh, the first thing you do is you come underneath here and just pull out the sword, like so. And as you can see, there it is without the sword. Now, then you take the sword and you split it right down the middle, like that. Flip that up. And then these two tabs right here will peg in up top. And there you go. Now it's some free spinning helicopter blades. Let's just put that off to the side. And now what you want to do with Springer is come back here to the rear wheels, pop them off, flip the fin up, and rotate it all the way around. It'll tab back in. Right back there. Do the same thing on the other side. Just untab it, fold it around, tab it in, fold that back and it's already starting to take shape. Uh, the next thing you do is you come up here and split these like so. And then you take this piece right here, you pull it out, if you can, rotate it up to the front, come back here and close this door up on that panel, bend it around, and then bend this down and tab this tab into that hole right up there like so. Do the same thing on the other side. Just flip this bit out, if you can. It's very hard to get these bits out, actually. <clears throat> ah. Okay, so you take this bit out, rotate it forward, cover it up, cover up the window, fold it around, and tab it in like so. And if it came loose, just come back here and tab this right into there. Now what you're going to want to do here is take these yellow bits, fold them down onto the sides, like <clears throat> like so. Move the camera up real quick. You want to have it like that. Come up under here if you can and grab the landing gear out, which is quite hard to do. So if you can't do it that way, come up here, break the nose cone, and just shove your thumb down in this way. Then you can fold it out like so. And it sort of looks like a helicopter. And then you take this bit right here, which was the windscreen, fold it up, and there's a tab here that will peg into that hole right there, and lock it together. And then you raise these back legs up, and then this thing, this slot right here will tab in right there, fold down these landing gear, and bend those as far down as you can get them. Now, that's a pretty good looking helicopter, but then take the sword and plug it in up here, and now he has his free spinning helicopter blades. Okay, so here is Springer in his helicopter mode, and this looks freaking amazing. This is identifiable as a helicopter. I mean, for a triple changer, you can actually tell what the modes are, which is quite surprising. Um, the blades do spin. He does face down a little bit, but that might just be because of this leg transformation back here. 
and other than that, it looks pretty darn nice. Um, you can take his gun in this mode and fold up his front landing gear, and there is this slot right here, and it will tab into that gap right in there. Now, you're supposed to just slide it forward, but I just kind of jam it in there, and then it sticks, and there you go, and that is Springer fully weaponed up in his helicopter mode, and if those aren't sitting right, the blades won't spin. But yeah, it's a pretty good looking helicopter mode. Um, so, so far his two modes have looked pretty good. Uh, now let's get this guy into robot mode and see how that looks. Okay, so for the transformation to mo robot mode, uh, just take up his weapons at first, take his sword, uh, split it like this, fold this down, and it should tab into this gear right here. Fold it all the way up, close it together, and there's his sword, and it won't spin, which is quite nice. Okay, and then we get to the robot. What you want to do is come down here, fold these out to form feet, fold out his heel spurs, like so. Bring his legs a little bit forward, and then spread them, like so. And then I'll rotate the camera up so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, now that you have that done, uh, he kind of... Gear walk. Um, he kind of looks just not very good right now. So what you want to do is loosen these up a little bit come up here and fold the nose cone down and fold out the landing gear because then you take his head which is tucked in there grab it fold it up and you have to feed that through this section right here which is slightly hard to do sometimes but then you feed it on through and there's his head you fold these bits up and they will tab in the sides right here and here, like so. Just kind of make sure he's standing all nice and good. Fold up these uh, landing gear and they will become knee spikes, which always looks cool. I come over here, undo this panel, unfold this, fold out the arm, and then close this all the way up. It will tab in right there. Close that up and then you have his elbow. Actually, what you want to do after that is just unpeg this from right here, and there you have his arm. And unpeg, flip the shoulder pad up and rotate it out, like so. So there's one arm versus what it used to be. Do the same thing on their side. Down, fist, rotate it up, peg it in, pull it down. That, up, out, or up, then out. Make sure that stays tabbed in and untab it like so. And then come back here and fold up that little panel. And there we have Springer in his robot mode. Okay, so Springer looks pretty darn good in his robot mode, if you couldn't already tell. Uh, he's average Voyager height. And for a size comparison, here he is with a Creon, which is almost Lego minifigure height if you want to scale him that way, because I don't have another figure around here. Okay, so you can take his gun, which looks pretty cool, and peg it into one of his hands. I like it in, to be in this hand. You can take his sword, plug it into another hand. And for once, the guard is actually on the front of a robot's hand, and it actually looks nice. So here he is, fully weaponed up, and he looks really good. This is how Springer should look. He is based on the IDW version of Springer, but this is classic Springer all the way. Uh, for articulation, his shoulder can rotate all the way around. Uh, on a swivel in and out so we can go up that high. Um, his elbow is ratcheted 90 degrees. Uh, can rotate up the other part of the bicep. Uh, rotate at the wrist and his gun can do that. Um, waist can swivel. Uh, his head on a ball joint. Uh, his legs can go forward that much back and about that much through the back. Uh, knees bend 90 degrees and his feet can do that. Uh, but yeah, and if you want to, you can kind of break his leg, just in case you need a little bit of extra uh, splay. But his feet are tilted at an angle, so he always has to be in A stance, sadly. But still, this figure is great. He's been remolded into uh, Sandstorm, which is also a great figure, but if you could pick up either of these figures, just pick them up. They're great figures. Either version of this mold is just great. So, this is Toyota 22, signing out.